Okay, we're kicking things off in sunny Santa Barbara, California, where Peter Cohen, a building contractor, lives with his 24 rescue cats. Oh, hey. We got two greeting me already. They look like they could be dangerous. Hello. Hey, Peter. Hey, Antonio. How's it going, man? Good, how are you? Good, man. Wow, look at this. Welcome Shit. to the house of Nico. I grew up with dogs, and then when I bought this house, it had two stray cats, and I've been adopting them for 20 years. They just become a huge part of my life. Finding enough space in this modestly sized home for himself and his 24 cats was a challenge. So to maximize space, Peter put his contracting skills to use. Wow, this is awesome, man. So many details everywhere I look. I mean, the place is so well decorated. The art, the cat features, the house. I mean, is so, that more your art direction? So it's my art direction because my favorite colors, as is, must be obvious, is green, blue, and yellow. Right. You can't really tell I have 24 cats because they're all over the place. And oh, they, they make the house feel alive. Since Peter runs his own contracting business from home and his clients are coming and going, he wanted a safe way for the cats to navigate around the house and get away from the foot traffic below. So he built over 300 feet of overhead walkways connecting the rooms of the house. That's almost enough to stretch out the length of a football field. I would say over 20 years, we've probably spent $100,000 just on the catwalks. The idea of the walks is that you're using vertical space that is not used now. Suddenly your cat has five times the floor space than they had before, then also fun to look at. Each of the catwalks has a one inch wooden lip, which prevents the cat from rolling off if they want to take a quick, well, you know, quick cat nap. How many fountains do you have in the house? Uh, there's probably uh, 15 or so fountains throughout the house that the cats drink from. So that's all their water? They, that's that's where all they their water. Them. We change it. We have charcoal in it to keep it clean, and that's where they drink. Man, they must love it. And this is dope, too. Yep. Is that's that wood they... or is that metal? Mostly wood. Why did you do that? Most of the catwalks, these are only eight-foot ceilings. Mm -hmm. The cat falls eight feet. It's fine. These go out over the entryway, which the fall is too far, and we didn't want them to fall. All right. So in areas like that, we have bars. They can't fall. So is that like an outlet from another room? Yeah, so the catwalks connect every room in the house multiple ways. Right. Uh, one of the things we learned building them is cats like to have different ways to escape. Right. They don't like to be cornered. Right. So when we build a, a catwalk, we make sure there's at least two ways to go. So I just saw her pop out of here. This travels all the way through here. This is pretty cool, man. And what's up in there? It was a pot shelf for plants. The catwalk started in one room, and we just kept expanding. Is that a camera? That's a camera, yes. With so many catwalks and perches for his feline family to run around and hang out on, it became nearly impossible to keep track of every cat. So Peter installed 25 cameras around the house to monitor the entire home. And then you got all your monitors here so you can keep an eye on everybody. Right, there's TVs in every room. I travel a lot and I can check on the cats when I travel. Let's follow this catwalk. Wow. Look, this little details like this little alien. Peter designed animal themed cutouts at the entrances of each tunnel. The whimsical entryway adds to the design and serves a purpose. The jagged wood edges provide a good scratch as the cats walk through. <coughs> this many cats means a lot of kitty litter, but Peter came up with an ingenious solution. I mean, you don't smell it in here. It smells fine in here. Like it. A lot of the litter boxes are in closets that we built uh, with fans that ventilate to the outside so we keep negative air pressure. There you go. That's and that helps with the smell. There's a lot of craftsmanship that went into this house. On the upper level of the home, Peter wanted a way to spend time with his cats while he worked, but with limited wall space, more perches were not an option. So Peter designed this one-of-a-kind floor-to-ceiling catwalk to keep his kitties entertained. Wow. Being a carpenter and making stuff, this is a can of worms right here. And this is one of the most asked about pieces. This was built in one piece. Oh, and it just fun. fit through the garage. And this was made by two of our carpenters, and they got a cardboard sanitude, to, and they just laminated little strips of wood around it. Laminating this catwalk was a tedious process that took nearly seven weeks. It involved carpenters using 1 8 inch thick strips of wood soaked in water, which gives flexibility to the wood. That way, it's able to bend around the circular cardboard form without breaking. 
Once the spiral design was complete, eight more layers of wood were added to provide a hard, durable structure that the cats can play on without it breaking. While most of us build our animal cribs to hang out and cuddle up with our furry family members, our next homeowner, Gerard Tui, built an amazing fish crib in eastern Pennsylvania for his family of koi. In 1988, my adopted mom sent me here to America. I was here in America 48 hours when I went to the pet store and bought a 60-gallon aquarium and some fish, which happened to be koi. I thought I had died and gone to heaven. Gerard's fish thrived and grew, so he decided to move them to a much bigger space in the backyard. He broke ground on his third of an acre backyard to build what is now referred to as Koi Kingdom. And those were the fish that grew too big for the fish tank that got me to this beautiful place that I now call home. Today, Gerard has created an astounding backyard paradise. The 40-foot pond holds more than 33,000 gallons of fresh water. It's constructed from poor concrete and a dark liner, which gives a natural look, and it's topped with Pennsylvania rock. It's large enough for Gerard to get in and hang out with his fish. My koi bring me so much joy. I love the fact that when I come out into my garden, the koi swim right to me with smiling faces and are excited to see me. Oh, I just love them for that. He now has 47 koi, all starting from just a few koi he imported from Poland. And now it's a big koi family for his wife and him to enjoy. Gerard didn't design just the inside of the pond. It's got a ton of stuff going on outside, too. Three waterfalls help filter and bring oxygen into the pond and produce different currents and water temperatures. This beautiful copper tree circulates water up its trunk and out through its leaves. The water motion brings to the surface things like algae and other microorganisms, which the fish love to eat. One of the most interesting features on the property is a custom-built $13,000 grand piano made from aluminum that Gerard commissioned from a local artisan. Water is pumped up through the base and cascades from underneath the keys. Although you can't play it, it provides a relaxing sound of a waterfall. Combining style and function is music to my ears. To enjoy the koi from a unique vantage point, a bridge made of tempered glass allows Gerard to walk over the pond without blocking his view of the fish. The bridge connects to a dock where Gerard can kayak to enjoy the koi from anywhere in the pond without getting wet. My koi are the world to me. They're just beautiful and uh, they just bring a calmness and a peace to me that uh, only koi can.